um so murti and shift in the gear as uh, so you are always with the subtle form or always with the matsudan sai and you have been with the swami in physical too now there's a curious question you know what you what do you do you know like in the stage you give a speech or sit with the next to matsudan sai so behind the screen how is your day look like you know what do you what do you talk to swami in general see generally you know actually uh, now you should be knowing that i am nearing 80 years 80 80 so at 75 i requested sub guru after i completed my 75 i said i want to retire from you no know, the routine activities and all positions without position whatever you say i will do i said but uh, he said you know then subtle form first time vision 2010 baba told me i will give you 20 more years for for you to serve and you have forgotten sadguru reminded me so it goes up to uh, and, uh, till i am 82 i have to do this job so, but slowly you know from routine duties i am with the drawing therefore uh, we now these days the physical interaction is not much in the sense i travel with swami sit by his side do work uh, physical interaction is there but not much okay but otherwise what do you what do you ask swami do you just keep quiet and next to swami or do you meditate or do you just uh, ask questions or swami ask questions to you or how does that your uh, yeah those things you know when you are dealing with routine matters you know establishment of medical college for that matter 100 things have got to be done with the government we discuss all that we discuss all that how to go about whom to approach you know all that is done all those you know routine things discussions uh, even now happen i thought you know you asked me with spiritually anything i ask uh, actually all my spiritual doubts were cleared during my first year of stay in puttaparthi by bhagwan sri satyai baba when he called me every day for one hour and spoke to me and clarified all my doubts and uh, i am writing about it in my book two masters and uh, one mission so basically uh, you are uh, uh, right now with swami it's all about administrative and official conversation looks like yeah okay. yeah discussions are mostly routine now yes okay one yes. question mukti and coming from the chat here yes question. my mom has a question does sadguru madsun sai continue to get commandments from satya sai to construct these pre institutions or is he acting independently now yes see uh, sadguru has explained in the last 11 years there are three phases of three and a half years each the first way first phase was sankarshana what it means that madsudan ji was only a communicator whatever satya sai baba told him he would communicate to suppose he says you go to america and talk to shivaram you will go and talk to shivaram first uh, three and a half years was like that the second was sandarshana what it means satya sai baba used matsudan ji not only as communicator but as a vehicle for himself that is satya sai baba entered into the personality of matsudan ji and then matsudan ji is not there that is the second third is sankramana or the next three and a half years now a lot of things happened then you know satya sai baba has trained sadguru matsudan sai you have to read his two autobiographical books you know the story divine two parts you know there he has explained very clearly and baba trained him to become what he is now sadguru matsudan sai and satya sai baba are one and the same or you can say sat sai baba has merged in the, the universal and he is one with sadguru matsudan sai therefore you have to say the answer to your question is yes he is independent sadguru matsudan sai is acting independently doing independently because sadguru sat, sat sai baba is not different from him both have become one okay thank you murthy uh, thank you for the question yeah. answer Yes. Um, Murthy Anna, so you have been a Tyagajeevi or 
Swami calls Yoga Jeevi. Uh, you know, we recently started, you know, should not call it Tyaga Jeevi, but he said the Yoga Jeevi. Now, whatever the name, but you sacrifice your entire life uh, for the sake of, of Swami or the world that many people may not know um, that, you know, you don't have a family of your own and things. And um, so do you want to show some tri uh, light about, you know, what it means to become a Tyagajivi? Maybe there are people out there here who want to become a Tyagajivi and serve Swami in different, different capacity. The, uh, the point is, see, maybe when I was young, I felt I was sacrificing something. Now I don't feel because I have gained everything. See, there is nothing that I lack. Nothing. Either physically, materially or spiritually, I lack nothing. I have gained everything. Therefore, I have not sacrificed everything. anything at all. I have not sacrificed. In fact, you know, suppose, you know, two things are offered to you. Say, one is a say Rolex, Rolex watch. Another is a very ordinary watch. Which will you pick up? Automatically, you pick up the Rolex watch. Now, every human being, God has given you two choices. One is the world, other is God himself. Which will you choose? I chose God. I did not choose the world. By that, I did not lose anything. Those who lose, choose the world only giving up God, they lose everything. Therefore, I will not uh, call myself a man of sacrifice because I have gained everything and nothing I have sacrificed. Sure. And it's a wonderful life. A wonderful life because you have so much time with you to do everything you want to do. And uh, when you say that I don't have a family, all of you are my family. How do you, how do you say that I don't have a family? Everybody is my family. Therefore, uh, uh, it, it is wrong to say that I don't have a family. See, many people are putting up hands. They are all, you are all my family. I feel that. I feel very happy about it, that uh, I can go anywhere in the world and claim that this is my home. Your home is my home. Yeah, Thank actually, you, Yuna. Yeah, Actually, one of the things what you mentioned, Murchan, that everybody in the call will agree that you, know, you'll have, you will have a lot of time of your own. <laughs> Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, a lot of time and nobody to uh, trouble me when I am doing something what I am doing. Nobody can come and say, oh, what? You have forgotten your family. Uh, don't forget us. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Murtan. There's one question coming up. Will Sadhguru be helping Premasai? See, here, you know, uh, Though I am convinced, I want to talk about it. I don't want to really talk about it. And what Sadhguru himself, you know, said when he, he came to this place where I am sitting, this Prema Sadhana. This Prema Sadhana is the place where all uh, senior Tyagajivis are living. We are all bachelors who don't have families. And we are given very nice facilities here. We all live together in this place. And uh, maybe... Two years back, uh, he came here and uh, he told us, don't uh, look for uh, another frame site to come. Therefore, you have to conclude for yourself. I have nothing to say about it. Now, I am convinced, but I, I, time has not come when I can declare on my public platform what I am convinced about. Yeah, actually, also the question, right? If Premasai also comes, Sadhguru comes together, whom you look at it? <laughs> so, therefore, I have said what I have to say. Right. Um, yeah, I think... Because uh, I, wa I don't want to create any controversy among uh, Sai devotees by saying something, you know, uh, which may disturb their, uh, uh, their own ideas. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think uh, the, the, I heard about that description also, Murti, and what you said, then uh, does it contradict the, the story divine story where um, Madhusun Sai went to see Prema Sai? Yes. Yeah. yes. No, here I want to tell you what Satya Sai Baba did. 
after he let the i mean he dropped the physical form was to train matsudan ji and through him many others like us by telling us things at that point of time what we could understand slowly he raised us as we rose in our uh, understanding he went on revealing more and more uh, you know subtler things therefore there is no contradiction it is a progression i would say it is a progression not no contradiction because satya sai baba had spoken about prem sai the name prem sai what did he mean he meant an embodiment of love satya sai baba was an embodiment of love therefore satya sai baba also could be called prem sai and sadguru matsudan sai is an embodiment of love therefore he can also be called prem sai but when he revealed things step by step you know this is what lord krishna also did you know how he revealed himself he did not teach bhagavad gita when he, in brindavan when he was playing with uh, gopas uh, gopalas and gopis therefore it's a progression i would say therefore there is no contradiction we have to understand it that way see that is what people would have understood at that point of time he spoke that way that's it okay th- thank you much ultimately ult- ultimately who is satya sai baba who is sadguru matsudan sai here i want to tell you what happened between satya sai baba and sadguru matsudan sai almost towards the end of disappearance of uh, the subtle I, i can't say disappearance before the merger with uh, sadguru one day so uh, matsudan ji you know uh, was asked by satsai baba in subtle form this is a dialogue satsai baba asked uh, matsudan ji subtle form satsai baba uh, you know what is bhagavatam matsudan ji said uh, whatever uh, he knew then baba explained ba means bhakti ga means jnana wa means vairagya and ta means then you know it it, it he pretended satsai baba a subtle form as if he has forgotten see even with physically physical satsai baba this trait was there he would often forget for example many times he would call me narsimhan we can say him many times he has called me anil kumar so he would forget and those things were there so it happened uh ta means what swami was telling matsudan ji said swami don't fool me when you are in physical form you are fooling by acting uh, as if you forgot now you cannot fool me then uh, you know swami said sat sai baba said see sat sai baba was born with a particular traits and characteristics as long as sat sai baba form is there whether it is physical form or subtle form those traits are going to continue he said and then matsudan ji asked sat sai baba you are saying you came as sat sai baba you came as siddhi sai baba who are you then sat sai baba said even if i explain you won't understand no swami i want to understand he said to understand me you have to become me only way you can understand me you should become me when i come as sat sai baba i act like sat sai baba when i come as bhagwan shri ram i will act like shri ram when i come like shri sai baba form i act like shri sai baba that is when matsudan asked who are you you are saying you came as sat sai baba you came as shri baba you came as krishna who are you he said you can know me only if you become me otherwise you cannot know me then he said you want to know who i am what i am i am absolute selfless love see that is what god is and that is the definition of god which is required for the world today which is in conflict which nobody can dispute which nobody can quarrel about no scholars can argue about it 
God is absolute selfless love. See, that is what it is. Therefore, you have to, you should, I think, you have to rise above names and forms. Wherever there is selfless love, that is God. But that is why we say Matru Devo Bhava. Mother is God because of that selfless love. Right, Shivaram? Sure. So th thank you. Thank you, Muthirna. And one, yeah. one other question, uh, maybe it's a little connected. Um, is uh, Sadhguru Madhusudan Sai incarnation of Narayan But This is the question in the chat. Yeah. See, here I want to tell you, that is what uh, Satya Sai Baba in subtle form had told me. That this is a reincarnation. Madhusudan is a reincarnation of uh, Narayan But I believed it because Many common traits are there. Many common traits, be traits between Narayan Bhatt and Matsudan. What are the common traits? See, Narayan Bhatt never wasted a single minute. And same thing with Sadhguru. Second one, Narayan Bhatt never played any games in his life. And Matsudanji was not interested in games. When I was Brindavan Warden, I was taking him out compulsorily with me to play ball badminton. That is the only game I think he has played. Many common traits I've seen. I believed it. And recently on Anna's birthday, 30th November, this year in Premamrutam, I said this before Baba, before Sadhguru spoke, I spoke and said, uh, hey, this is Narayan But Then Sadhguru explained that Sadhguru Matsudan Sai, the body is Matsudan. Mind is Narayan Bhatt and heart is Satya Sai Baba. He said this, made this statement. If you want to understand me, he said, this is my personality. Sadhguru Matsudan's personality is, body is Matsudan. Mind is Narayan Bhatt and heart is Satya Sai Baba. And consciousness is Brahman, he said. There are four things in Sadhguru Matsudan's Sai. Body of Matsudan, mind of Narayan Bhatt, Heart of Sat Sai Baba and consciousness of Brahman. I think that would answer your question. Sure, Mutan. But uh, when uh, uh, Narayan but or Anna uh, passed away, yeah. that time yeah. Swami sent a telegram saying that he is eternally merged with Swami. Yeah, see, he, see the point here is yeah. even those souls or great uh, Mahatmas, you know, who are merged with the God. You know, like on a computer, you can't really delete uh, you know, any, I mean, anything completely. It is always there. And this, you know, in Bhagavatam itself, uh, Bhagavan Krishna says, whenever I, whenever I want those mukta jivis, those who are merged in me, I can send them back into the world for helping the world. Okay, thank you, Muthyana. Yes, yes. One, one, one other question. Even, even, even liberated personalities can come back with by God's will. In fact, in essence, it is only God coming in that form, actually. Sure, thank you, Muthyana. And one other question from the chat. For people like us who work long hours taking care of mundane activities, can you guide us how we can work and live feeling that we are... Yes. Working for Swami at all times, living in Muddhanali. See, that is why in Bhagavad Gita, two slokas, Tasmat Sarveshu Kaleshu Ma Manusmara Yudhyacha. So, this is what we told Arjuna. Arjuna was fighting a battle, not like you and me working in the world. He told him, You fight your battle, but think of me always. Keep me in your mind always and fight. That is the way. Second is Yat Karoshi Yadashnasi Yad Johoshi Dadasi Yat Yat Tapasyasi Kaunteya Dat Kurushva Madarpanam. Whatever you do, mundane, you think mundane or spiritual, whatever, you offer it to me. What it means, our mind should be always focused on God. At least when we wake up in the morning, first thing we have to do is pray to God. God, help me so that I will not forget you, whatever I am doing today. And I do things the way you want me to do. And you only inspire me. Please handhold me and guide. With that prayer, you know, morning starts, you know, things will be much better. That is where, you know, at least 30-minute meditation every morning. 
would help you know regular spiritual practices like 30 minutes in the morning you are able to establish some kind of communion with god within your heart your whole day will be very happy whole day you are connected and whatever you do is prompted by god not by the ego and you do best things possible and your best competence comes out you will become most efficient when you empty yourself of yourself and become an instrument of god the thing Thank is you. regular spiritual practice morning prayer meditation contemplation keep apart 30 minutes of the time 24 hours exclusively for god and forget about everything else for those 30 minutes i think that would help Thank you, Muthirna. Um, I think I don't want to keep you for a long t- time, you know, be- because you're... you're no, no. What, what time is there? Time. No, no. What is the time in your state? Uh, it's actually different in different places. In the East Coast or the my place, it is 10.55. No, your place. Your place. Your my place is 10.55. But on the West Coast, it is three hours. You know, so it's 7.55. <laughs> no, so, no, no. You, now it is 10.55, right? In your okay. place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now it's getting late for you. No, no. For me, it's not late. For me, it's not late. You know, this opportunity, you know, we may not get uh, <laughs> that often. Right. It's once in a lifetime kind of opportunity. So I don't, I don't have, have any, we don't have any problem. But uh, if you. You, you don't respect your time, you know, that's the main thing. But questions are coming. <laughs> so if you're okay, I'll... No, no, I, no I, I told you already, I'm going only after lunch, going to Austin campus okay. and then to Gulbarga. We have a sports meet in Gulbarga on yeah. uh, uh, 9th and uh, 8th, 9th and 10th. Okay. I think one of the satsang we had like this was in Atlanta when you came in the, you know, the 2018, you know, in the hotel room, you lost your, uh, you, you know, you got locked out <laughs> and you were outside. <laughs> and then we, no, were, was, we were all gathered right. and, you know, you know, we had a very good satsang with you, you know, so. Yes, that was, yes, I remember, I remember in the launch. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah, there's one question here. I have a query yeah. about the, uh, uh, okay, I have a query about Jammu, sir, in 2018, I had handed over a request letter about health and education project in our remote area. Swami has sent his rep, Mr. Anand Kadali, to see the land which dear Swami did like it. Like now just wanted to hear, when is this on card? Now, which place is that? Worry about Jammu. Yes. The Jammu is still on cards, actually. And uh, it will happen. Uh, at the right time, it will happen. Now, the, what has happened... Uh, uh, Shiram and uh, all my brothers and sisters listening to me, the full focus is on medical college because it's a huge thing. For the first time in the world, somebody got an idea to start a medical college completely free of cost. First time. No government ever thought about it. The richest persons in the world never ever thought about it and Sadhguru has thought about it. And uh, therefore, our complete focus is on uh, uh, medical college. After it is established, it will take another at least, you know, two to three or four years to put it on a firm uh, foundation. Then I think uh, more expansion is possible. Okay. Uh, thank you, Muthirna. Um Now, coming to Gulb, uh, the Dodabal Opera Campus. Yes. Um, if you can tell about what is the plan, how it is going to happen. Yeah. So this is what Sadhguru has uh, directed. See, what has happened, these girls of the Dwarapur campus, we are keeping in one building in Muddenahalli. That is required for medical college, girls hostel, next academic year. So it has to be vacated. Uh, and also it is required for the nursing college students. Now we have already started nursing college. We have to about 20 students, 17 of them girls and three of them boys. They are, these girls are staying in that place. It is called Anandashraya is the place. Now these Dodbalapa girls have to be vacated from there. Therefore, uh, Sadhguru has uh, directed, we start construction immediately and at least get it ready by August. 
uh, so that you know in september we ship these girls there therefore now the land is acquired as you know and uh, architect is already preparing plans tomorrow varun is going to chennai to get the plans once we get the plans we fix up a contractor and we have to start the work and two blocks we are taking up one is the academic block that is the block of school another is the hostel too small this is the first phase actually so house only about 100 girls and uh, a few teachers and all this we have to complete by august end from now onwards now it is january say seven months we have to maybe we start construction in the first week of uh, february or so or second week of february and complete this and uh, all this you know already i have sent you the uh, details how much uh, support is required for completing this building laying the road playgrounds and getting uh, the kitchen equipped library laboratories all this you know all that has to happen uh, by that time yeah th- th- yeah thank you muthan actually many of the devotees are uh, thrilled on this project especially because this being a girl school because we have girls yes. high school yes no i are... tell you girls education is a huge problem in india not because uh, you know government is not supporting because the people don't understand most of the people parents you know, they don't understand say i'll give you one uh, small example the girls you know many of the coming from poor families studying in a university once they complete their br bsc the parents want to get them married off so that you know their responsibility is over but we want to make them at least post graduates ma and mscs so that you know even if they get into a family life something happens to the husband they are not on the streets they should stand on their own feet once you are a post graduate ma or msc there is huge demand for teachers you know so then you know any lady any girl who becomes ma or msc she can stand on her feet we, therefore we convince the parents saying what not only saying we give your girl ma and msc education completely free food free clothing free everything free on top of it we are paying 12000 rupees to the parents while they are studying so who has done this nobody will do it so because of that money these poor parents that they feel okay at least we are getting some money let the girl finish ma or msc and after they complete ma or msc each of the girls will become teachers and we pay them 25000 rupees per month I mean from indian standard 25000 is not a small amount at least you know parents will allow them to you know therefore the girls education is a huge problem because convincing parents who come from uh, rural areas poor families is very very difficult so dotbalapur particularly most of the girls are from uh, in fact we have waived that 50% thing as i told you in schools 50% parents should pay the hostel fees and 50% we pay we look after everything but in case of dobblapur the number of children whom we are paying for their food and clothing is more than 50% therefore it will be a huge help for those uh, girls yeah thank thank you muthi anand um yeah many many of the devotees already signed up and uh, they are you know the into this project and Thank more, you. More, more people will be joining for sure because you know swami's will <laughs> it is yeah. the swami's project swami's will it is for a great cause so it it yeah. has to have a place no choice but you should feel proud shivaram and uh, all of you because apart from medical college only new institution we are building is dodlapur campus it's an exception made actually for good blabber because we want to vacate these girls from within and okay. if 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 we don't build those, those buildings the ch- literally children will be on roads because medical college girls also need a hostel thank you thank you chura thank thank you mr actually a lot of a uh, lot of good wishes coming and uh, especially i'll read one of the message from uh, sister parvati Uh, she is saying sairam badeshwaram thank you for organizing uh, uh, arranging the satsang please can you arrange more satsang because we would like to 
uh, no more beautiful experience of narasimhuti sir and both subtle form and more about the present time experiences too and just to give a background about sister parvati she is uh, to her house swami came at i, I think believe th- th- 30 times to her house in uh, when when she was in india and uh, she had a wonderful experience too and there are many such people who are you know like close to swami and now in subtle you know f- f- um you know following sa sadguru madhusan sai and things so uh, you know there are many such messages thank you murthy anna and uh, really appreciate your valued time you spending with us on this okay. new year new year day and i hope uh, you will you know um accept our future requests like this and spend you know time with us uh, some sometime in the future too or more often if not after after 6 months definitely we will have another satsang so thank you shivaram i have enjoyed uh, speaking to all of you so this is not a speech i pour out my heart most of these things i won't speak from a public uh, platform in prema amritam or anywhere else you know what is in my heart i just spoke very spontaneously especially looking at the very very you know inspiring uh, faces of all of you and uh, your eagerness i could see the shraddha in the faces of many of the people whom i am able to see on the screen i am also very very happy i have enjoyed thank you very much shivaram let us close you yeah. have a prayer to me yeah What yeah we'll uh, close with the one om and three shanti and uh, yes, and like as you rightly said murchana this is the core of the core team you can say who are ready to thank do you. for swami anything thank and you very much shanti yes 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 swami that is the right. kind of you know the devotees who are in this call and that's why we keep kept it as an open conversation in you know, a heart heart conversation and thanks it again <laughs> for opening up your heart with us and Thank people you. are willing to even sit through the night that's how it is but uh, uh, you know but again uh, we want to respect your time and you know hopefully you will accept our uh, invitation maybe at least be in the next 6 months and we'll have more these sub- satsangs will close with the one moment the shanti yeah oh om shanti shanti shanti